Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revit Snippets, great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today we look at how to build this very nice curtain system, where you have a mullion type like this, with nested detail inside, and curtain panel that slides nicely into those mullions. So what do I mean by nested items? If I go now to a level view, and try and check the same system here, this curtain system it shows a nice mullion detail in my section or even floor plans and the best thing is this detail item only shows at the fine level of detail if I go to course now it disappears if I go to medium nothing shows up still but if I go to fine now you have suddenly something you can really use in your detail drawings so let's see how we can build this from scratch I'm gonna close this model now so we have an equal place to start from step is obviously you need to find your detail items for the uh, mullion cut section and the easiest way to do this is just to get them from the internet if you uh, haven't got one in your standards for the office i just went to a random manufacturer website and got this huge drawing here with lots of types to choose from and today let's try to use this type let's try now to select only the lines we need to use in Revit as reference how about that one there, this one here, and those are the last ones. It's important to get only the lines you need because in Revit uh, we need to pick them into Revit lines. And if you have those hanging around the lines you need in Revit, it will be harder to pick them there. Okay, now it's time to run our wblock command and export all we have selected there, export all we have selected there to a new DW2G file. I will call this one detail tree with a D of course. Make sure you choose the right unit that uh, that is being used here this drawing. For now I know it's inches so let's proceed. That's done now, the export is done. When I go to Revit it's time to do a new family. And first off, we need to make the detail item family, yeah? So we can start from this template there. And then go to insert, import cat to link in the detail item. Detail tree is there for us. The preview is there nicely. You can now go to open to import it. Now it's there to the side, but I can unpin it and then move it to position. This is where people get a bit confused and they may do the wrong thing. Some may try to select this cat object and go to explode to get the, the individual lines in this detail and manipulate them if they like. That's not a good choice because by doing an explosion on this item, you will get all the cat lifestyles and light patterns and layers names into your Revit family. These AutoCAD objects can trickle up the family chain and show up in your project file later on. So that will throw away your office standards or make your drawing and your model more messy. For now, let's do the other thing. And this is the better option. I need to go to line now and pick those lines to create Revit lines. The quickest way is to use tab select to do that. I'm gonna hover now to one line, press tab that entire chain has now lightened up, now lightened up. I can click now to, to select those lines and then proceed to select the rest. Now, this is where you need to have a look as well. When I hover over this line here and press tab, you can see the whole chain will light up. But when I actually click on the line, only two lines was created for me. The reason is this. That's a very tiny layer you see, and this line is shorter than the shortest line Revit can create, that's why it ignores it. The same thing goes on there. So in this case, we need to draw those lines manually ourselves after picking those lines that we can pick. Let's proceed with picking and then we'll get to that later on. For now, I want to pick only the lines that I can. Alright, looking great. 
Now let's move our cat detail to the side. Move our cat detail to the side so we can see where we are. Almost there, almost there. The lines that we couldn't pick from the cat object, it's time now to draw them in. Sometimes I find it useful that you draw the lines that you need on one side of the profile and I just mirror them to the other side because this profile is symmetrical anyway. Also, if you forgot some lines in the original cat detail, and for example, this one here, I didn't pick it. I left it out by mistake. It's now not too late. I can now pick it there and then move it back into my main drawing region. And like I said before, it's time now to mirror things on one side to the other. Nice. Let's do the same thing over here. Sometimes you need to go for the overall quality of the item or of the drawing. Things like this little ledge there, it shouldn't matter that much. So for now, I can choose to trim that off. And the same over here. Excellent. Now it's time for me to delete this cat file. It shouldn't stay here in my detail item. And then move those lines that I created closer to the origin of the family over there. Let's go move. And just place it there. Now we're ready to go and proceed to the next step which is to create the actual profile for our Molian. This step is important, but it's only to do with the little item that we can nest into the profile itself. The profile itself we need to make now. I will try new family. And we can start from the metric profile Molian template. In here there are a few useful tech notes that shows you where the interior side is, where the exterior side is. We can check them later on. For now, I'm going to go ahead and bring this detail item into that profile family. So just place it here and maybe move it to closer to my origin point. There you have it. Next step is to create the sketch lines for our profile family. We can now go and pick the lines from our detail item to make them. Now to see them clearly, I can now hide this detail item just for a minute. And you can see now we have a few trimming operations to do. Let's split this and then make sure the entire profile makes up a continuously closed loop something like this i can now go ahead and use this profile family in the project it's time for a new project let's do that if we go to new project we're going to go for the architectural template this term who else would do curtain walls, right? So next step, put in here an example storefront wall. And you can see this system has curtain grids already. I can now go ahead and put in some mullions. Press down control and click to place all grid lines. Nice. Alright, so now it's time for us to replace this Molian with the new profile we just created. Let's load in the profile from this family. I'm going to save it with a good name first. Molian Profile 2. Into the project it goes. Just like that. 
Now let's see the type properties of this mullion and check the profile property. It's there for me to select, you see, profile number two. And it looks just fine. That looks very promising at least. The next thing is to make sure our curtain panels slice nicely into their slots that we have created in our mullion profile. So how can we do that? The trick is to change the properties of our panels. If I select this one single panel there, under properties, my experience telling me this offset parameter is at play here. How about we change this to zero? Let's see the default location of this panel without the offset. And it's there. Why is it there? You may ask. This is why. When I hover over this curtain wall system and press tab a few times if I need and press tab a few times if I need to, you can see there's one single red line, horizontal red line that shows up right now. That's the center line of our curtain wall. The offset parameter essentially is the distance between the center line of this panel to the center line of its curtain wall. If I want to move this panel a bit down in this view to make sure this bottom edge of this panel here is aligned to this silicon item in my mullion, I need to change this offset value. Something like 25 divided by 2 because I know 25 is the thickness of this panel from here to there. If I want to move it halfway, in this direction, I need to change this to be 12.5. It's going in the wrong direction, so let's put that into negative. Let's do minus 12.5. And there you have Very nicely done. When we go now to 3D, this system is almost complete. Let's try to put in a section box here so we can see for ourselves what's going on. Excellent. You can see everything is nicely done there. The last step is to make sure our detail item shows up at the right level of detail. When I go to level zero now, this detail item is nice but I don't want to see it in my cost level of detail or even in medium. I only want to see it in fine. The way to do it is to go back to our Molian profile family, select the detail item in there and change its visibility settings. It's time now to untick cost and medium. Only leave ticked the detail, le detail level that you want this detail item to show in. Having done that, I'm now ready to bring it back into my project. And now, as a result, if I go to course, I don't see my detail item. If I go to medium, it's still not showing up. But if I go to fine, it's there, ready for me to put on a nice detail drawing of this single construction detail. And that's how we do this. That's how we roll and create this system in just a few minutes. Have a try for yourself. See if you can build it yourself following our trick.